Greetings and welcome, friends. Mr. Wadi here. I'm just going to talk about rotations using uh, dynamic geometry software, specifically the Geometers Sketchpad. I think the geometer, the geometricians Sketchpad. Hey, front corner quadrant. Let's pay attention, friends. Uh, so let's uh, let's set up a nice little grid here. Uh, oh, I don't know if you guys knew this, but you can have polar grids. I don't know. Someday you'll see that. Maybe pre-calculus. I'll just do a square grid right there. Bam. I'm going to draw a nice little triangle. Let's draw a triangle. We'll connect the dots. It's going to be great. And so I made a triangle. Let's label this triangle. Abaca. Abaca. And uh, watch this. This is a pretty good move. I can, um, if I double click on a point, watch this. It goes like all, it's just going to be like it's in a rave. Wah, wah. Right. Wah, wah. It's pretty awesome. It's just like, man, I, I wish I had just had some dubstep music. Wah, 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 wah. Uh, it, man, it's so great. And uh, when I do that, what I'm doing is, uh, uh, this is how I would do it if I selected it. Transform and uh, mark center. Uh, allowing it to be a, a location of rotation if you wanted to think about it like that. And so what I'm going to do, I just marked that as a location for rotation. And now if I select an object or series of objects that I want to rotate, I go to transform, rotate, and notice it's actually rotating about uh, the center of this, well, it's not labeled as point D. Uh, and then I can do all sorts of rotations, uh, right, 20 degrees, 200 degrees, uh, 30 degrees, right? And I, I could just kind of rotate things 45 degrees, 90 degrees, right? All sorts of uh, negative 90 degrees is over there. Wait a minute. Did you guys notice which, what, what direction is a negative degree rotation? R right? How do we describe that about the point? That's clockwise, clockwise. All right, whereas a positive angle is rotating counterclockwise. That's going to come into play today. Uh, but what I want to point out is uh, if I do a rotation um, like so, I hit rotate, bam, uh, and then I label this. Do you guys, do you guys think this is a, uh, a rigid transformation? Yeah, I think, I think this triangle is going to be congruent to that triangle up there, uh, right? And, and even if I was to modify it, Right, it's it still is. Whoa, that's crazy. Uh, right, it's it's a rigid transformation. The corresponding sides are congruent. The corresponding angles are congruent, and that's kind of how you can do rotations in Sketchpad. Watch this. I can also let's rotate about point C. Wah, wah. There we go. Uh, transform. Uh oh, oh, I gotta select something to transform. So if I transform this object, uh, rotate it. Um, about that point, notice I can do, you know, kind of, I don't know, I can do interesting rotations. What's a, let's see, 180 degree rotation. Wow. Huh. Is that the same as a reflection? Mm, no, no, no. If I do 360, where is it going to land? 360, it lands on itself. Yeah, there's 370, 380, 390, 400, 410. I didn't say it out loud because the internet would go crazy. All right, come on, guys. Let's be smart here, friends. All right, so uh, so yeah, you can also rotate about different points like that and all sorts of stuff. So that's how you can do rotations using uh, dynamic geometry software. Let me un undoes that. Uh, notice uh, when I do a rotation. Let's let's go to display line style. Uh, is it really good? Hmm, thanks. All right. Let me draw it first. So let's see. Here was display line style. There we go. Dash that. Just a just a dash right there. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking. Uh, let's make it R naranja naranja. And so let's see, if I map B to B prime, what do you think is true about those orange segments? Uh, they look congruent. Let's see, measure length, 2.89. Measure length, 2.89. That looks true. What do you think about the angle between those things? It's 90 degrees. That's the rotation that I did. Let me, let me make another. Let's test this again with uh, C. Uh, display 
I don't know, color, let's make it green. I don't know, green doesn't really show up well. So let's see, so C to C prime. Let's see. Do you guys think that's going to be uh, 4.47? Theories about C prime D? 4.47 centimeters. And theories about the angle? Yeah. So, so when I do a rotation, when I do a rotation, the distance from the point to the point of rotation will be equidistant from, uh, to that of the uh, image, right, the new point, to the point of rotation, and the angle between those segments will be whatever my rotation's angle was. In this case, I did a 90 degree rotation, but I also could have done a 30 degree or, right, 360, whatever, whatever. And, uh, and that's what we end up getting. So there's some rotations. Thanks for watching, Internet friends. Geometry!